Thank you for everybody coming out this afternoon. We've been really excited today for some time now. As I'm sure most of you know, there are a few times where you get to be a part of creating a technology that can truly impact an industry. To innovate where it's been lacking for what we think is almost 40 years. Our mission is to create great technology that changes the way we clean the world. That is the essence of what not only drives this company, but drives every team member and what they strive for every day. And what we're going to introduce to you today really embraces that mission. But before I do, I just want to do a quick recap on the industry and I want to cover off some, some of the major innovations. Take abrasive blasting in 1870. The past 30, 40 years, it looks pretty much the same. Give or take, adding some water to try and reduce the airborne contaminants. But when you look at it, it's the same basic principle. Take pressure washing. 1927. I would say that pressure washing has had one of the biggest innovations. Uh, moving from you know, a, a basic pressure washer to something that can hit 30,000 PSI or greater, you know, they created a tool that, that was very, very good for the customer and created a lot of value for the customer. Of course, the higher the pressure typically comes higher the costs. 1947 was dry ice. Moving from a dual hose system to a single hose, a major improvement. But again, the picture on the left shows a unit that's maybe 20, 30 years old compared to one today, and they look pretty much the same. So when we first started to get into the industry and we wanted to learn about this, this industry further, we had a, a company do an, a cleaning equipment comparison chart for us. And they took, of course, the standard capital costs. But when they did the operating costs, they didn't just take the media cost. They took the disposal cost, the uh, c uh, containment cost. And they put it all up so we could have a good high level view of where everything sits. So we got to understand that and some of the advantages and disadvantages of the different technologies. So we launched the Ice Storm 90 in 2017. And having R&D Mag name us one of the 100 top uh, technologically significant products of the year really validated uh, what we thought as well and, and, and where we thought the technology could take this industry and take it to that next level. And as we learned more about the special characteristics of ICE, we realized it wasn't just a regular media, it was a great media. And it was the only media to not only have three cleaning mechanisms, but exist in all three phases, solid, liquid, gas. It also had, it was also a superior media for cleaning. So when we stacked up to the equipment comparison with a capital cost similar to dry ice blasting, and you look at the operational cost, it's so much lower because you look at 95% less water than a pressure washer, or you know, virtually zero airborne contaminants, 0 0.003 micrograms per cubic meter of contaminants. It stacks up very, very well. And it's helped us build a great network of stocking distributors. Some of them are here tonight. They flew a long way to come and see what we have and what we're presenting to the world today. So you can see as it populates, we probably have closer to 50 stocking distributors now. All very, very good companies, very professional, and most importantly, they all believe in our technology and our vision and where we're going to take this company. So, why are we here today? Are we here to talk about knives? Well, not quite. But I want to draw a comparison for you before we start. Because when Western Co. out of Germany started producing the first Swiss Army knife in 1891, 
they created significant value for their customers. I mean, look at that thing. It's beautiful. It's got a saw, it's got scissors, it's got a corkscrew on it. I mean, I have one, and it has a toothpick. It's not on that model, but they're pretty cool. <laughs> so, when we launched the Ice Storm 90, we were able to do a bunch of different things. We did some things that a high pressure power washer did, we did some things that abrasive blasting did, we did some things that a dry blasting did. But in order to be more effective, we needed to blast at higher pressures. So, in, in launching this new product today, which is our new variable high pressure ice blast system, we're able to go from 180 to 200 PSI. Now that allows us to be much more effective when it comes to more pressure washing applications, more abrasive, even more dry ice applications. But we didn't want to stop there because we wanted to continue to create awesome technology for our users. And ice is a great blasting media, but dry ice will always have its place. It's dry. You can do live electrical with it. There are some advantages to that. So today, our second product we're releasing is our very own high pressure dry ice blast system. So two systems. What do these two systems both have in common? Besides the generic term, ice blasting, which is what we fully uh, want to be. I'll tell you, these actually aren't two machines. They're actually just one machine, <laughs> twice the machine, that can consume any ice, anywhere, anytime. And that's right, it's fully patented all around the world. So please allow me to introduce to you today Ice Storm. I bet you didn't see this coming. That's okay. It's not your fault that you're just finding us now. We're here because we think different. We look at the world not as it is, but how we can change it. Inspire it. We started by innovating a whole new technology. And in doing so, we redefined clean. We brought you the power of ice, and it changed the game. And now, it's time to change it once more, to create for you the ultimate tool. This is Ice Storm, and this is just the beginning. One of the other accessories that we're excited to launch is our new low-cost ice maker, both a one ton and two tons per 24 hour. You can even roll the Ice Storm 90 underneath it. Ice on demand, continuous blasting, and it's super beautiful. We brought one here tonight. So I wanna cover off some of the new features and designs of the Ice Storm 90. And most people that I work with know that aesthetics are as important to me as functionality. I believe that blasting equipment can be both. So I'd like to highlight, starting, our new super beautiful control panel. But even better, it's super simple and easy to use. Standard on-off, e-stop, variable uh, high pressure regulator, but the coolest feature, my favorite button is the dry ice button now, the CO2 button. Because just the push of one button and the whole unit recalibrates itself. 
the teeth retract, the ice consumption lights change to dry ice mode. It just works. And that's pretty cool. The next is our hopper. We have some new technology uh, that we've implemented so we can eliminate any possible bridging with both ice or dry ice. It can hold 90 pounds of ice or it can hold up to 200 pounds of dry ice. Uh, in, our, in our nozzles, one of the new nozzle technologies, our new proprietary quick disconnect. So again, very simple, 10 seconds or less, you can take a nozzle off, click another one on, um, very neat, very easy to use. Some of the new nozzles we're launching, we're actually launching my favorite new nozzle, it's called the Ice Caliber. And it gets the ice moving up to 800 meters a second. And that's pretty cool. It's actually pretty fast. And along with that, we're publishing our own guide to ice hardness, which we're calling the DeBuild Scale of Hardness. And it's based off of one of our very talented engineers who spent years now understanding ice speeds, temperature, ice size, and how that all correlates to abrasive impact. So again, it, it's a tool that our users can have now that they can take our, our DeBuild scale of ice and determine what hardness they need based on what their application is. Part of trying to understand this industry is understanding the hundreds of applications across all the industries that people approach us with all the time. And in doing so, we tried to uh, condense that into five elements to clean, is what we're calling it. So we have earth with applications such as oil and gas, nuclear, asphalt, concrete, restoration, metal, so things like deburring, cleaning metal molds, uh, paint off of metal, water, looking at applications for marine, underwater cleaning, anti-fouling paint and marine growth, wood, which is pulp and paper and a lot of engineered wood manufacturing facilities, and then, of course, fire, which is things like burnt wood, slag, a lot of uh, restoration services. We also have all new element videos that we're showing, very simple videos that cover off each element. We also have great case studies, customer testimonials, white papers, brochures for each element. We're also launching our new website, which is very interactive and it's very simple. So I want to thank everybody for coming out today. And you can follow us on some of our social media platforms. We have uh, some announcements coming out in the near future. If you follow the Ice Blast team on either side of the exits, they're going to lead you outside where we're going to have uh, some demos, some trials. You can see the technology. You can blast with the technology. And I uh, look forward to seeing you outside. Thank you.